Welcome on into Wisconsin Women. Are you ready to get outside? Yes. yes. <laughs> this is the episode, boy. We are talking about so many fun things. Of course, we're here at Crazy Lenny's e-bikes, and there has never been, I really don't think there has, a better time to buy an e-bike. Mm -hmm. And today, we're gonna talk about that later in the show. First, we're gonna tell you all the great parks that you can ride your e-bike to because we're talking with Rachel Taji with Madison Magazine, and this is the Parks Issue. That's right, the June issue of Madison Magazine celebrates all that is parks. You wanna pick that up and check out. Madison has a, an extreme amount of parks, so many activities, and then festivals within those parks. And so this issue really delves deep into that. And there's also a really cool, beautiful um, map of all the Madison parks by a local artist, Emily Balzi, and you can buy it. It's, it's basically like art, but it's also a really great resource. And so um, we are doing a partnership with Madison Parks Foundation, which fundraises on behalf of the parks, and you can buy these really great maps at madisonticks.com for only $10, and you can hang it on your wall, and then say, I haven't been to that park yet. I'm gonna go ride my e-bike there. Hop on your <laughs> e-bike, and you can you can literally follow the map around and go yeah. through all the numbers to hit up all the best parks in Madison and there's so many great ones. So many. Must have been impossible to choose what to put in the issue because there's only so many pages. That's true, <laughs> that's true. And we did ask our design team to create a pullout in the issue that is front to back, 101 things to do in Madison this summer. <laughs> many of them take place at the parks. And so this is a great little handy resource that you can just keep with you all summer long. Of course it includes, oh, like, Jazz at Five, Concerts on the Square, La Fête de Marquette, all of the different festivals, but all of the shopping. It's just, there's so much to do in Madison. And for the A-types, you can check it off as you go. Check it's that off. It's literally a to-do list. Uh -huh. I love it. That's right, it starts so, with the essentials. <laughs> there is no excuse to be bored this summer. That's right. Exactly not. right. Exactly all right, so right. Madison Magazine is um, going out to thousands and thousands of Madisonians in the greater Madison area. How do folks subscribe to the magazine? Oh, great question. So you're gonna wanna go to madisonmagazine.com and for our Wisconsin women viewers, um, please use the code 795 to get a whole year subscription for $7.95. Wow. That's 12 issues. We are an award-winning magazine and we really cover a lot of not only the important issues that are happening in Madison, but the stuff that we really care about, which yeah. is food and entertainment and what to do out in the community. And so it's just a fantastic magazine. So yes, go to madisonmagazine.com, um, go to subscribe, the code is 795 and you will get a whole whole year for $7.95. Wow, now that's a crazy good deal. I think Crazy Lenny's brings out the good deal. <laughs> he does, right? he does. <laughs> now speaking of great things to do, and of course we love restaurants, yeah. tell us about Restaurant Week. So Restaurant Week is happening in July this year, and so it's good to, the, to put it on your calendar early. Um, Restaurant Week is something that Madison Magazine has been doing for over 12 years, and we partner with 50 restaurants in the Madison community, and we offer a three course prefix meal. So that's gonna be, you get um, an appetizer, and entree and dessert for a full week at the end of July for only um, $25. Pretty incredible. Wow. MadisonRestaurantWeek.com is gonna be the list of all of the restaurants and we just released that list. So you're gonna wanna check that out and then plan for it, it's that last week in July. So even That's if you're fun. not a foodie, why would you encourage people to participate in Restaurant yeah. Week? Well, it's first of all, the price point is right to try something that you may be a little bit hesitant to try in your day-to-day -day life, right? Sure. There are a lot of really good, what some people might deem like, oh, that seems like an expensive restaurant, or maybe that's food that I wouldn't know, normally like. This is a great accessible way to say, I'm gonna go there on a Tuesday night, I get to try you know, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert for $25 and check it out. But it's also a really great way to just see the city, get together with friends at a in a hot time of year when you probably don't want to be in the kitchen cooking <laughs> yes. with all that heat. And so, you know, you're going to get on your e-bike and you're going to ride over to one of the 50 restaurants and it's going to be a great time. So you're going to go to the parks, you're going to go to the mm -hmm. restaurants. We've got you all over town. You're going to need a little pick-me-up. That's so You're going to need to ride the bike to, to maybe burn off some of those dinners. That's exactly <laughs> right. Exactly <laughs> right. Yes. So where can people go to get more information? You guys are doing so many different things. Madison Magazine, yeah. obviously covering lots of great articles like this issue with parks, but also so many events. So yeah. it's hard to get it all in in one segment. Where can viewers go? Yeah, so I think that the best place to start is madisonmagazine.com, and that not only has all of our content, but it's also going to have an event calendar where you can see not only the events that we produce, but all of the events that are out there in the community. And then additionally, um, you can hit the subscribe button right there um, to subscribe to Madison Magazine. Yeah. Um, so MadisonMagazine.com, it's your source. I love it. Thanks so much, Rachel, for Thank being you. here. And you're going to stick with us because yeah. you're also our host. We'll be back <laughs> with more Wisconsin women coming up after the break.